hey guys it is all back here with another video and today i am going to show you how you can flash custom recovery which is nothing but twrp and root your android smartphone so i am using this one is a uh, LTV l1s so first you have to go to settings and here go to about phone and here find build number and tap on it for four five five six times and you can see that your developer options is enabled and here you have to enable their android debugging sorry usb debugging and once you will enable now you can modify your uh, custom recovery and root your phone so guys now your phone part is over and now we are moving up to the pc so for that you need three files keep your phone aside I have given the link in the description uh, that link is for my google drive and once you will open that link it will download one file called root and twrp so download that file and in that file you will find three files here which is first one is mediatek smartphone driver and the other one is pda net which, which you have to install in your pc and the third one is uh, this one uh, x500 507 and x509 RAR file. So you you have to be sure that your Windows is your Windows is Windows 7, so that you can do it easily. So without getting any further ado, let's get started. So here you can see three files are there. So you can see one setup file here for your PC. Just double click on it and install it. It is a diver to detect your phone. So your phone, if your phone is at, at HTC, Motorola, Samsung, LG, means you can select your options. Then my phone is not belonging to these four options, so I will select other. So click on OK, and it will install your USB driver. Click install. It will take 2-3 minutes here. Here you can see, here you have to skip the USB part. Press OK. And here you can see the installation has been succeeded. And already you have enabled USB debugging on your phone so no need to worry about this option. The second file is MediaTek smartphone drivers. So this will also install uh, drivers in your PC. So you have to extract the file here only. So right click on it and extract it here. So once you will extract it, you will find a MediaTek smartphone driver auto installer folder here. Go into that and go into smartphone driver folder. And here you will find there are two folders. So according to your uh, Windows bit. So if your Windows is having 64 bit, then open the then use the 64 bit file and if you are having 32 means you have to use x86 bit file so open x64 mine is 64 bit and here you have to you, you will find dpinst.exe file uh, setup just double click on it and install it so once you will install it uh, it will not show anything and it has been installed so you can delete this file no need of this so the third file and the main file in this list is x507 this is the most important file for flashing twrp so extract it here so after extracting just connect your phone to your pc just keep it and here you can see you guys uh, your pdn it has connected to your your phone has been connected to your PDA net and now go into lex509 folder and here you will find twrp and here you will get recovery.bat just uh, first you have to unlock your bootloader so for that you need to go to your bootloader so double click on that 
and here it will ask you to and here it will ask you in your phone that you have to allow USB debugging or not allow it and press OK and after this uh, press any key here press enter and here you, have, you, you can see that your phone is now going into bootloader mode So here you can see that your phone has went to bootloader mode and now here in this folder only press and hold your shift key and right click your mouse and you, here you will see open command window here open it and type a command here fast boot oem unlock bootloader and once you will open uh, write the command press enter and here you will see in the phone that something has written here and what you have to do is just press the volume up button so once you will press the volume up button your phone uh, the, the bootloader of your phone has been unlocked so just close your windows uh, command window here and now we have to flash the custom recovery so no need of writing any command here just open this one double click on recovery on bat and here it will ask you wait for fast boot mode and press a key so your phone is already in fast boot mode so press a key here and here you will find that flash recovery press a key when done so here you can see fast boot OEM and device is unlocked means your bootloader is unlocked so here you can see that uh, it is showing ok then press enter and here it is it will show that your recovery has been flashed so you have to do nothing just plug out your phone and press and hold the power key for some time and your phone will reboot And here you can see that my phone has been restarted and go to system update software and here you will find three dots here you have to click on reboot to recovery and press confirm here you can see your phone is restart, restarting in recovery mode here is the TWRP custom recovery now I am going to show you how you can root your phone so I forgot to tell you guys that uh, after extracting this file here you will find update.superuser so you have to copy this file to your phone storage so, so in recovery also you can connect your phone to your PC and your phone will be connected and you can go here 
and you have to paste this file on your internal storage so here you can see I have already pasted it here so after pasting it just uh, plug out your phone from your PC and here you will find that so now go to install and here you can see that your it is your file explorer you have to slide it down from here and here you will find update.superuser file just select it and swipe it to install so once you will swipe it it will install so I have already installed it so no need for me then go back the installation will take just 10 seconds after installing go back and here you will find restart just restart your system and once you will click on restart the system will restart and your phone is now rooted and the custom recovery has been installed on it so this is my personal suggestion guys that don't install other custom recoveries if you want to flash volt zip then definitely flash this, cu this custom recovery only so thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel